Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Roland SEO2 and what makes it juicy. This is the first synthesizer on a series that Roland calls Design Series. But what makes it stand out is not that it's a clone of a clone of a classic. And I would say it's also not about its unique specification. And yeah, yeah, it is an analog synthesizer by Studio Electronics. But what makes it really stand out are two little things common to its big brothers. And the first is this waveform, the shark tooth. When people say that those synths cut through the mix, it's because of those teeth. And the second thing is how they transform a classic into a modern synth by incorporating what used to be a hack as a feature. And I am talking about the dedicated feedback knob in the front panel. The two of them combined, the shark tooth waveform and the feedback, make this synth really aggressive without the need of additional effects. So that if you bring your small synth for a rehearsal with a full rock band, you don't sound like this. Let me demonstrate. These are the pure waveforms with no filter, no effects, and they sound punchy already. And that is the shark tooth. And you might be asking, what's so special about it? For me, it's about those low ends. It's the best of the worlds between a triangular wave and the bite of a sawtooth. Now look what happened when we start to mess up with feedback. Let me filter out first, so I don't clip the sound for you. I'll leave you now with 14 of my favorite factory presets. Thanks a lot for watching and thanks for all the subscribers.